So there seems to be some confusion with lithium ion cells. Um, I think a lot of people seem to think that um, an 18650 battery cell or lithium ion cells in general contain nothing but lithium and that's not true. So today I want to talk about how much lithium is actually in a lithium ion cell as well as how they're manufactured so it gives you a better understanding of what the internals are all about. So an 18650 battery cell is what Tesla is using, um, as I mentioned before in my battery video, um, in the Model S and the Model X um, uh, cars. Uh, and the size, once again, refers to the width, which is 18 millimeters, and the height, 65 millimeters. Um, Elon just confirmed uh, Model 3 will have a new form factor, which is a 2700, so 20 millimeters, 700 millimeters, or 70 millimeters tall, sorry about that. Because a lithium ion cell has the word lithium ion in it, they seem to, everybody seems to think that that's all that's in the cell and that's not true. The main constituents of a cell really is aluminum, um, nickel, there's some cobalt in there, silicon oxide. Um, an 18650 battery cell weighs on average about 45 grams. The amount of lithium hydroxide uh, that's actually present in the lithium carbonate portion that goes into the anode in an 18650 battery cell is less than uh, 0.8 grams, so it's a very, very little amount. Uh, if you scale that up, for example, and you go to, say, a 90 kilowatt hour battery pack, it's about 11 pounds. It's not, at all. It's, it's not much at all. It's, it's very little. So this, this concept of uh, how much lithium in the world to make these battery cells is a non-issue. Lithium is like the third most common element around. It's a very light metal. Um, it's found in salt flats, um, in things like Bolivia and Nevada, by chance. Um, so the refinement of that turns into you know, a white powdery substance called lithium oxide. Now, when that goes into a battery factory, it's mixed with uh, carbon as part of the anode, and it's mixed with a solvent, and that's turned into a slurry, and that's called uh, lithium carbonate. Um, and the way they manufacture lithium ion cells, and I'll put a video up here that shows some of the process, is basically uh, this slurry, lithium carbonate slurry, is uh, put into what looks like a, an industrial printing press of sorts, except and put it, instead of putting paper through it, they put thin sheets of aluminum. Um, and then this aluminum is either wrapped around a mandrel, uh, and which then gets inserted into the lithium ion cell itself, or in the case of a pouch battery, it's kind of rolled like a toffee machine. It's flattened and then put into a pouch. Now the electrolyte that goes into the cell is interesting because there's a lot of chemistry involved in there, uh, specifically with the, the use of additives. Now the additives in there are to reduce the physical buildup of gunk, if you will, on the cathode, and that's what leads to battery degradation. If you want to learn more about that, I'll put a link in the uh, video notes, and you can watch Jeff Don, Professor Jeff Don from Deleuze University um, in Halifax, and he has a really good presentation on what causes uh, battery uh, degradation and you can watch this it's 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 very fascinating so I hope this helps to answer what really goes into a lithium ion cell and how it's actually made really to alleviate a lot of concerns it seemed that people think that there's enough lithium in the world to make these batteries it's very very prevalent it's not an issue it's a very small amount of lithium that goes in there it just happens to be the name of lithium ions that are part of the electrical um, that are part of the chemical process in the battery that gives it its name hope that helps talk to you soon